and I'm space. Dante here with Talk Your Runs and Make Your Runs. I'm here with Nick. Uh, this is another video series that we're trying to start. It's called Taking It to the Table. The premise of this segment is that we're going to take your guys' comments, um, whether it's emails, comments in the comment section below, or videos that you send us requesting us to review shots or cover some things that you guys struggle with. So today, we're fortunate enough to have a fellow YouTube creator send us a cry for help, basically. So let's see what he has to say. Got a quick request for you guys. I'm on my way to the pool hall right now, but I need some help with my back cuts. I always get stuck on them. So if you guys could give me a quick tutorial on how to make those happen, that'd be awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, let's take it to the table. Yeah, it's okay. All right. So back cuts. Um, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about what a back cut is. Um, you have your cue ball, placed like so, and then you have your object ball, placed like so. And the reason why it's called a back cut is because you're cutting the ball to the back side, and that's why we call it a back cut. Okay, and these are a little bit tricky because you have to take an account for throw or squirt, uh, which means that because these balls, when they collide, they cause a little bit of friction. Um, so you have to account for that. Nick's going to show you how he aims for back cuts. All right guys, so in the scenario that Dante laid out, this is how I would address the situation during a match. Uh, first off, I need to find where I need to hit the cue ball, or hit the object ball, in to get it into the pocket. So where I aim is just inside the point of the pocket. Um, so I know that when I hit my object ball here, it is going to drop into the pocket. So that's my, that's my line that I'm trying to make sure that this object ball, in this case the six ball, follows. So to do that, I bring the cue back, find that line, and then just adjust the cue over, and find the line between the object ball and the cue ball. So I know that I need to strike this object ball right there to ensure that I follow the line that I had previously viewed with the object ball. On my line, I just need to get down, make sure that I keep a visual on where I need to hit my object ball to follow the line that I found. And that's just a nice, easy stroke. Another one. This one, object ball is a little further away from the pocket. So same same scenario. I'm finding my line to just inside of the point on the pocket. So once I find that line, I'm coming straight back at the cue ball, or the cue, finding that line on the opposite side of the object ball, and then moving it back to the cue ball. So now that I've found my lines, chalk up, get down for your shot, Nice easy stroke. That was awesome, Nick. Um, I think that's that about covers it. Um, hopefully, uh, our YouTube creator sees that and uh, practices it, and uh, we'll check in with them when he uh, has a chance to practice it. Absolutely. As long as he follows everything that we went over, I, I feel like his game will increase. Uh, when it comes to back cuts. So yeah. hopefully it'll help them out. Definitely. All right. This is Dante and Nick from Talking Runs and Making Runs. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, send us some comments. And uh, hey, send us what you got. We'll put you up and we'll attack it and we'll take it to the table. All right, guys. Till next time. Um, the question is, or the cry for help is in my butthole. No, um, <laughs> so, wait. how's this? Uh, a little further back. <laughs> <laughs> or come a little closer to is the Is that what you tell me? Right? <laughs> a little, little, little further, further down. A little further down. Little okay. Further. All right. So, in this setup right here,
we're gonna have Sh Nick explain how. Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, hey, I was going to slip it right in there. I know, I heard it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be silent at first. The make it runs, I'm here with Nick. Um, we have a... <laughs> a squeaky shoe? I don't know. Squeaky <laughs> shoe. That's kind of creepy. You're you just this. standing there staring. <laughs> Watch our video. Yeah, I see that. This is the segment that we like to call, let's take it to the table. Um, Dante here. <laughs> to the table. I shouldn't do that because I probably see that. Uh, Tiger runs and Dante here. <laughs> Tiger runs and Dante.